So today I'm talking about a P0120 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P0120 code? Well, it's a throttle pedal position sensor, switch A circuit malfunction. And so what does this mean? Well, basically vehicles have what's called a throttle body, and this is where all the air goes into the engine. And how much air is going into the engine is controlled by this butterfly plate that's inside of here. When throttle bodies were first introduced, there used to be a cable that went down to the gas pedal. And as you pressed on the pedal, it would open up that throttle body plate and let in more air. But in many newer vehicles, they got rid of that cable and they replaced it with this electronic throttle control system. Keep in mind, there can be differences. Some vehicles may still have that cable that goes down to the gas pedal, but there will be a throttle body along with the throttle position sensor. And basically how these systems work is that you're going to have a sensor down on the gas pedal called the accelerator pedal position sensor. And this sensor is going to report to a computer how much the gas pedal has been pressed and which computer the vehicle is using it can vary depending on the year, the model, the make, things like this. It could be called a throttle actuator control module, or it might be built into the powertrain control module or something like that. But basically there's a computer controlling the whole system and the computer is going to be controlling a small little DC motor that's located on the throttle body that's opening and shutting that plate. There's also going to be what's called a throttle position sensor so that's just reporting back to the computer if that plate is inside the right location. And so that's a real basic overview of what's going on with these systems. Like I said before, there can be some variations on this. If your vehicle does have that cable going down to the gas pedal, then you won't have the sensor down on the gas pedal, but you will still have a throttle body and you will still have a throttle position sensor. But when you get this P0120 code, the computer's seeing a problem inside of this system. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. You know, one thing to note about these throttle bodies is that depending on the vehicle, the year, the make, the model, if that throttle body is replaced or sometimes even clean, they can have what's called a throttle body relearn procedure, where basically the computer learns all the small variances that's going on with the throttle body. This is usually done by just driving the vehicle. Although if your vehicle does have a learn procedure, you can look up what the specific steps are for the computer to relearn. Again, this is gonna vary, but just keep in mind that if that throttle body is replaced for some reason, or if it's cleaned even sometimes, then it may have what's called a learn or relearn procedure. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0120 code? Well, the first thing that could cause is that there's some kind of issue going on with the throttle body. There might be some kind of issue with this plate might have got damaged, or there's some kind of issue going on with it. These new throttle bodies with that little DC motor built into them, they also have little gears and things like this going on inside of there. Sometimes when one of these components go bad, you can hear it grinding in there a little bit when it's trying to open and shut that plate. But basically, if there's some kind of issue with that little motor that's built in there that's opening that plate or with one of these gears, then that's going to cause problems. Another thing that happens with these throttle bodies is that they can become really dirty. They can get a lot of buildup on them. And when this happens, this is going to just throw everything off. It can throw off the sensors and throw off the computer and things along these lines. So if you can, it's a good idea to go check out that throttle body and check to see if it is really dirty. And if it is, it's a good idea to clean it up. You can get what's called throttle body air intake cleaner. And basically, you just spray down in there and you just clean it up real good. You can use a rag. You can wipe it out and things like this. One thing to mention is that if you do clean up the throttle body with that throttle body air intake cleaner, when you first start up the engine, it may run badly for like the first 30 seconds or so until that throttle body air intake cleaner is all burnt away. But then after that, it should run better. But basically, the first thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on with the throttle body. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad throttle position sensor. And basically located on the throttle body is it's going to be what's called a throttle position sensor that's just reporting back to the computer in the location of that plate inside of there. And if that sensor goes bad, then that's going to cause problems. There's some different ways to go about testing that sensor. There's some good YouTube videos on that. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad throttle position sensor. And the next thing that might cause this is a bad accelerator pedal position sensor, which is going to be located down on the gas pedal. This sensor is usually part of the gas pedal. It's all going to be built into one usually. Although again, it can vary, it can depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, the model, but usually they're built in with the gas pedal. There's some different ways to go about testing these sensors, but the next thing that could cause this is a bad accelerator pedal position sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of wiring problem. Basically, there's like an open, there's a short, there's a blown fuse, something like that. These pins where these connectors go together, sometimes those could become loose and they could start causing problems. It's also a good idea to go check all your fuses. These fuses can be labeled differently depending on the manufacturer. For example, here's a 2015 Toyota Corolla, and Toyota likes to label these fuses ETCS, or Electronic Throttle Control System. Here's another example, this one of a 2012 Chevy Silverado, and it's gonna be on fuse number five, ECM Throttle Control. And so these fuses can be labeled differently, but it's a good idea to go and check for any blown fuses.
You can also get wiring schematics for your particular vehicle. Since there can be differences between vehicles, and you can go and check the circuit and be sure everything looks like it's good. It's very common for these systems to be used in five volts. So if you have a multimeter, you could put the key in the on position and go and check and be sure you're getting five volts through the circuit and that the circuit has a good ground. Again, be sure to get schematics for your vehicle and verify what's going on with it. But it is very common for these systems to be getting five volts. But the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of wiring issue. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And this isn't too common. Usually when you get a P0120 code, it's going to be something else. These computers usually don't go bad, but it does happen sometimes. One thing to mention is that if you do think you have a bad computer, be sure the batteries charge good. Be sure all the connections look like they're good. You can even test the alternator output and be sure it's outputting the correct voltage. Because all these computers, they all need a good, stable power supply, or that can cause issues and it could throw them off and just cause them to do weird things. So if you do think you have a bad computer, be sure to check the power supply going to it. Because the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0120 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.